What's up, everybody, and welcome to my first ever set booster opening. We've got the Assassin's Creed one dropping in just a few days, which I will be doing a video of. But since I've been just getting into Magic the Gathering, still playing a lot online with Magic Arena and still watching a lot of playthroughs with Wubby and even Moist Critical, I figured I uh pick up a set booster and kind of just test it out beforehand before assassin's creed drops this is one of the ones that i got the dungeons and dragons battle for baldur's gate got some baldur's gate characters in here and i haven't really watched a book ton of videos on this so all these cards and everything will be completely fresh to me and uh we're gonna kind of just jump right into it this time around i threw on some background music so we'll see what we pull uh, I changed up my camera setting so that way hopefully you don't see any of the uh, the sidebar that was on the last one. I had it backwards. So anyways, uh, we're going to jump right into this. So let's might as, well, might as well get started here. Just move things around. It's not as like stable, uh, just so you know. So the camera, I'm going to do my very best here uh, since I am just using my phone for camera. But... Uh, yeah see what we got so i as you can see i have not opened this at all i did pick it up off of amazon myself uh, i think it was like 100 bucks or something around then um when i bought it but let's actually get this open all right there we go i had to use a little bit of force to get this side don't worry i did not swap it out or anything I'm too much of a noob to do any of that or to even attempt to do stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Got it. Guaranteed one each traditional foil art card and foil etched card. So I've never actually opened up one of these. Like I've always oh, oh, just ripped open like that. I've always seen these, but I've never actually opened them myself. So let's see comes with a little card here. All right, it looks like it's just pretty much an ad. Magic Companion. I have been playing Magic with my wife. We got uh, starter decks because we want to eventually play Commander, but we have not gotten around to it yet. So we're just taking it slow. We've been playing with the Lord of the Rings starter decks. Uh, when Assassin's Creed comes in, I will be doing the set booster, and I think I got one collector booster only one uh and then uh we'll, we'll see how it goes it's been fun also learning how to play magic online playing the jump in mode has been pretty cool too so let's uh let's just open one of these up up further right there start with the first one my first set booster here we go I'm trying to keep it centered too see what we got so i think these are is this like the uh art series okay pretty cool play zell looks like justine justine jones we got a swamp renari merchant of marvels we cast dragon spells okay pretty cool circle of the land druid Earth Tremor, Vicious Battle Rager, Arms of Hadar, that's always a good one, Ingenious Art Artillerist, Artillerist, Contraband Livestock, Cut a Deal, Renari Merchant of Marvels, Phoenix Astral Hunter, Hardy Outlander, Emoan Mystic Trickster, Blade of Selves, and the Master Key. Like that's the the foil one there. Pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of these cards I've never actually seen before, and I'm kind of doing the same thing I did last time. So, uh, since I am very early into Magic and stuff, I'm taking my time, kind of just appreciating the cards. And then, uh, I mean, if we start seeing a lot of repeats, then I will speed up the process and so on. But uh, 
for right now, I mean, I could sit here and read every single card, but if something really sticks out to me, I would definitely take the time to sit there and read it. It's nice with magic cards. You don't have to, like, do the whole with thing with Pokemon. You have to uh, take the two from the back, put them to the front, and then take the rest. And, yeah, it's, I forget, it's been a while. I've only done that, like, once before. But let's see what else what else we got here. Another heart series card. Pretty cool. It's Island. Bernari Merchant of Marvels. Okay, we've seen this one twice now. Sky Diamond. Art style for these are pretty cool. Underdark Explorer. Menace this creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. When the Underdark Explorer enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. The Backsea Buccaneers. Guild Sworn Prowler. Ooh, Kaga. Okay, that's cool. Or Gaka. Kaga. Legendary Creature Elf Druid. Shadow Arch Druid. Whenever Kaga Shadow Arch Druid attacks, it gains Death Touch until the end of the turn. Mill two cards. Once during each of your turns, you may play a land or cast a permanent spell from among cards in the graveyard that were put there from your library. This is one for Nothic. Aaron's Gloom Stalker. Jahira, Friend of the Forest. Tokens you control have add three mana. Or green mana choose a background you can have a background as a second commander master chief or master chief master chef nice oh that's a background candle keep sage actually you know what? hold on let's see so what exactly are backgrounds commander creatures you own have that this creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. The other creatures you control enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on them. Okay. Candle Keep Sage is another background. What commander creature you own have when this creature commander creatures you own have when this creature enters or leaves the battlefield draw a card. Okay. Ancient Gold Dragon one of the elder dragons wait that's a mythic right there that's pretty cool flying whenever ancient gold dragon deals damage to a player roll a d20 you create a number of one one tokens with flying equal to the result damn that's crazy oh my god wait that's actually wild if you roll a 20 you get 21 one that's insane that's actually insane Hunter Mountain Adventurer. Wrathful Red Dragon. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I saw that the dragons are like good for these or something like that, if I remember correctly. Whenever a dragon you control is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to a target that isn't a dragon. And Rune Tail Kitstune Ascendant. We have 30 or more fly, uh, life flip Rune Tail. Wait, what get at flip it? Whoa, you actually you actually flip the card. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to creatures you control. Cool. The after so once I'm done these videos and stuff, I also have some older starter decks. And I don't really plan on doing any like official going to the store and playing magic with random people. It'd really only be with family or friends for the most part. But I plan on taking most of these cards and trying to uh, put the, the reds with the reds and the blues with the blues and then see what kind of synchronize with each other. That's the end goal with getting cards like these and not just holding on to them. But it's the current goal, at least. See how it plays out. Planes. Okay, it's a foil planes. That's cool. Sky Diamond. The Cant of the Endless Water. By the way, like, as usual, if you guys have any suggestion with these, feel free to let me know, like, camera placement, if it should be closer or further away. I'm trying to, because I'm technically, like, sitting all the way over here. I know the camera is right here, and I'm watching it on my screen. So, um, yeah, if you do have any suggestions, feel free. 
since this is my first time opening set boosters, but recruitment drive. Genesee Enforcers. Trailblazers Torch. Inspiring Leader. Kadira Caller of the Small. Whenever Kadira deals damage to a player for each token you control, create a 1-1 one -one white rabbit creature token. Overwhelming Encounter. Creatures you control gain vigilance and trample until the end of the turn. Then end of turn. Yeah, end of turn. Roll a d20. Viconia Drow Apostate. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are three, four or more creatures in your graveyard, return a creature card at random from your graveyard to your hand. Choose a background. Raised by Giants. That's background. Matter creatures you own have base power and toughness 10, 10, and are giants in addition to their other types. <laughs> Noble Heritage. Commander creatures you own have when this creature enters the battlefield. And at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control for each opponent who does. You gain protection from that player until your next turn. Mighty Servant of Lu Luco? The vehicle. Myram Sentinel worm boy that's actually that's a dragon spirit whenever another non-token dragon enters the field battlefield under uh the battlefield under your control create a token that's a copy of it except the token isn't legendary if that dragon in coronation of chaos up to three targets creatures can't block this turn goad them so your next turn those creatures attack each other if able and attack a player other than you, if full. None of those that I really recognize, but still some cool ones in there. I'll try to just add these piles together. Man, there's a lot. Honestly, yeah. There's a lot of uh, cards in here, so. Jeez. I almost got the draft booster, and I know you get a ton more cards with that, but I know. Uh, during my research and stuff, like drafts are meant to be like you're gonna, you and a bunch of other players are taking a card from each pack and building your decks. So in the end, I, I get ended up getting this set boosters, um, which costs a little bit more, but that's still not terrible. So swamp, canter, nature's lore, atrocious experiment, armor of shadows, skullport merchant. Mahadi Emperor Emperor Master Emporium Master. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each creature that died this turn. Pretty cool. Split the spoils. Stone Speaker's Crystal. Gale. Water Deep Prodigy. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast up to one target card of the other type from your graveyard. Spell would cast from your graveyard this way would be put. This way would be put into your graveyard, exiled instead. Okay. Scion of Halister. Cloakwood Hermit. Is it, I believe is that that's the etched foil there. If I'm correct, I had to look that yet look into that yesterday. It's like a light foil, from my understanding, and it almost makes the cards look a little bit darker and harder to see. But still, that's a background right there. Albear Cub. Oh, that's cute. Whenever Albear Cub attacks a player who controls eight or more lands, look at the top eight cards of your library. Put them in a creature. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield tapped and attacking that player. Put the rest of at the bottom of your library in a random order. Another Gale. One. Foil. That doesn't look like. Acolyte of Bahamut. Ooh. Mana creatures you own have the first have the first dragon spell you cast each turn costs two yeah, two less to cast. And a treasure token. Cool. And some cool stuff in here. Oh man. I keep forgetting that how many there are. I'm like, oh yeah, we've probably only got like five more or so. But now this this video is going to go on a little longer. And I mean, 
you can kind of see I'm slowly speeding up here. Um, but if anything does stick out, then of course, like I've said, we've been slowing down. But because I don't want this make this video extremely long either. But I still want to try to appreciate them. Ball. Got lightning bolt. Okay. The common one. Ice wind stalwart. Astral confrontation. Worms crossing patrol. Sharpshooter elf. Giant ank egg. Passage way seer. Two handed axe. Amber gristle omal. Dungeon Delver, Safana, Calumport Cutthroat, Traverse the Outlands, Moss Diamond, and Magic Minigame. Can't wait to actually go through these and like sort them out and everything too. I, I'm beyond excited to do a uh do the Assassin's Creed ones. Especially as a big Assassin's Creed fan. That looks sick. It's actually really cool. Ancient Copper Dragon. Huh. Yeah, that looks awesome. That artwork. Right there. Forest. Ball. Lightning Bolt again. Reckless Barbarian. Underdark Explorer. About the Baxi Buccaneers. You look upon the tar Tarasque? Tarasque. Choose one, run and hide, or gather your courage. Ooh. Explore the Underdark. Wilson, Refined Grizzly, Hardy Outlander. Dan Jansen, Chaos Crafter. Flaming Fist. The background, better creature you own have whenever this creature attacks, it gains double strike until the end of turn. Jahira again. It looks like an etched foil, I think. Wrathful Red Dragon, another one of those. Cloakwood Hermit foil. And Sacred Rite. Whoa, this is like one of the original ones, right? I think. Sacred Rites, discard any number of cards from your hand. Creatures you control have... Get plus zero plus one until the end of turn discarded this way. Yeah, that looks awesome. I'm going to put that one to the side because I don't know. The, the other thing too with, with these is I don't know values yet myself. So all of this, uh, I mean, some of these could be worth nothing. So, so I could pull something that's like insanely rare and I would have no idea. So, if I do, please let me know. Uh, I do have, like, some sleeves for cards, but I don't really have any clear sleeves just yet. Rasad Yin Bashir, the human monk. It's cool that there's a, there's so many that have this art style. Citadel Gate, Black Dragon Gate, Hezru, Unsummoned Dead, you may mill three cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty cool. Rudic Ritual. Bag of Holding. Mindstone. I've heard that Mindstone's really good, or I've seen it played a lot. Add colorist, colorless. Sacrifice Mindstone. Draw a card. Treasure Keeper. Aaron's Gloom Stalker. Feywild Visitor. Another flaming fist, an etched one. Alondo the seer, the Baxi Tucaneers, the Cat Ranger, and the Initiate. What kind of cards are these? So this is like it. Oh, it's a location card. You enter this dungeon unless you venture into the Undercity. There's another card that said Venture into Inner City. Whenever one or more creatures a player controls deal damage, combat damage to you, that player takes the initiative. Whenever you take the initiative at the beginning of your upkeep, Venture into the Under Oh, okay. So you can either... So then... Oh, that's so cool how there's cards like that. 
secret entrance, search your library, and then from there, I guess you choose like Forge, Lost Well, Trap, Arena. I don't know if you roll for these, but it might say more on the, the Undercity card. That pile's getting a little big. Hey, we still got these so many that this comes with. There's five right here and then six. Yep. That's crazy. All right, well, not here. Let's choose. Go with this. Put these aside. This is fun, though. Nice opening axe. And I'm going in with this with, like, not expecting anything other than some cool cards to build some decks. Island. Moen Mystic Trickster. Marching Dudron. Murder, destroy target creature, poison the blade, deadly dispute, banishment, gate colossus, gond gate, Rag raga draga. Each creature you control with a mana ability plus two plus two gets plus two plus two. Every creature you control with the mana ability attacks, untap it. Whenever you cast a spell of at least seven mana was spent to cast it, untap the target creature. It gets plus seven plus seven and gains trample until the end of turn. Another noble heritage. Veteran soldier. Earthquake dragon. A lot of dragons in here, which is cool. These 14. The spell costs less to cast, where X is the total mana value of dragons you control. That's actually really good, then. Lunch the Bestower. Horn of Valhalla. Pretty cool. Ruin Grinder. I'm going to start a new pile right here. Me. So, this one, I don't know. Separated them like that earlier. But I just did. Oh, oops, kind of peeled right down the, rather than peeling like this, I peeled right down the center. How are we doing right now? 22 minutes. Sorry, we're about to, we're making good progress. Not spending overtly too long on each one. Planes, Marching, Dudron, Lightning Bolt, Worms, Crossing Patrol, Citadel Gate, Black Dragon Gate, Izru. Arcane Encyclopedia, Rug of smol uh, Smoldering, Smothering, Campfire. You gain two life. Exile Campfire. Put a commanders. Put all commanders you own from the command zone from your graveyard into your hand. Then shuffle the graveyard into your library. Perlesa Scale Singer. You may look at the top cards of your library at any time. You may cast dragon spells from the top of your library. Street Urchin. Alondo the Seer. Human Shaman. Barrow Room Brawl. Bronze Walrus. Oh, that's cute. And then another initiative card, Undercity. Cool. Yeah, so one thing I've noticed uh, is I, I've been getting more into, especially with Magic Online, for more of like the, the styles or like what they are, like I guess, are there a ton of other cards that say Walrus on them? Are there a ton of cards that say Human Shaman on them? I guess so. Or I guess there's at least one other. At least one of them somewhere, um, which is pretty cool. But I, when I was playing Jump In, which is a game mode in uh, Magic Arena, the way it works is you choose two packs. If you've never played Arena, um, you choose two packs. And they typically have a theme to them. And I believe the game mode is alchemy, but then you can take those alchemy cards and make them into a standard deck too. So uh, I chose one. It was like detectives. It was all about like cards saying detective on them. That's a cool picture of Carlock. Um, and then there's also a bunch of other ones that uh, these, I'm just going to keep going because a lot of these we've seen. Uh, but there was a bunch of other ones like you could do a whole deck on detectives and then another one on like entering the battlefield and they 
they combine together and then you play with that deck against other people. But you get to keep all the cards in the game online. And it, it comes together, so um, it's not like you have to pay extra money to get it, which is cool. Thrakus the Butcher. Whatever Thrakus the Butcher attacks, double the damage. The, double the power of each dragon you control until end of turn. Cavern Brawl. That's cool. Wait, that's a background? Commander creatures you own have... Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. This creature gets X plus zero until the where X is the card's mana value. You play that card again. Turn. Ellen Harbury's busybody. Raised by giants. Oh, oh, spoilers. Reflecting pool, planes, and a knight. A knight token. Please. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, Baldur's Gate and Dungeons and Dragons, so over the weekend uh, when I'm recording this, I went to a convention that was happening outside of Philadelphia, and uh, they actually had a few characters from the Baldur's Gate games that were there. So I didn't actually go up and sign uh, anything, or like ask them to sign anything, or get any autographs or pictures. But it is still cool being there. Um, they had Asterian, the voice actor, Neil Newborn, Newbon, I think his name is. Um, Lantern Revealing. Cool. Chain Devil. Oh, this one's sick. Uh, they also had Harlock, the actual voice actor. Leon Kennedy was there, the voice actor. Um, so yeah, there's a decent amount of people. Steve Blum was there as well, which is cool. When Shane Devil enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a non-token creature. A root, swift foot boots, amber gristle of maul, gut true soul zealot, street urchin, shadow heart, dark justicier. Sacrifice another creature, doll X cards, where X is the creature's power. Criminal past. Creature gets X where the number of creature cards is in your graveyard. Wow. I feel like that can be really good, actually. Majestic Genesis. Another one of those. Skullwinder. 1-3. Okay. Cool. And then Magic Mini Game. All right. We're almost there. We've got about seven left. Lucky number seven. Oh, got some dog. There. I tried cleaning up. Oh, this thing. I don't know how much dog fur is even on my my desk. I'm sorry. I have a husky and a, uh, or well, German Shepherd husky and a corgi. So one's black and then the other one is, uh, corgi is a blue Merrill. So it's just part of being a dog owner. That's okay. I love them. Real sir, ra rail. Mahadi Emporium Master. Avenging Hunter, Hack Attack, Band Together. Oh, look, it's Minx and Boo. Minx. Up to two target creatures you control. Each deal damage equal to the power to another target creature. You meet in the tavern, form a party, or start a brawl. <laughs> Veteran Soldier, Commander Liara Porter. Nemesis Phoenix. Minthara. Oh, that's cool. Merciless Soul. Ward X, where X is the number of experience counters you have. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, you get an experience counter. Creatures you control at plus one, plus zero for each experience counter you have. Dragon Cultus. That's a background. Oh, that's pretty sick. At the beginning of your end step, if you source the control of... Uh, if you control dealt... If a source you control dealt five or more damage this turn, create a 4-4 four, four red dragon creature token with flying. Will. Ooh. Blade of Frontiers. If you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. Elithid Harvester. Wow, this, uh, this deck has got some really cool ones that we didn't have yet. Theramophis, when a Lithid Harvester enters the battlefield, turn any number of target 
Un uh, target tapped non-token creatures face down. They are now a 2-2 hard. Alondo the Seer. World Gorger Dragon. Flying Trample Nightmare Dragon. That one looks pretty sick. Wait, so is this like serialized? It says 103 out of 143. I'm going to have to look these up after. Someone have one too? 44 out of 350? Yeah, I'm going to have to look at both of these. If I do find anything out, I'll leave it in the comments too at the time of like looking these up um, for the YouTube videos and stuff. But I'll keep those out to check. It's cool doing this, not knowing what to expect. Um, because what what happens when I did my commander pack openings, like those cards you can, everybody knows. Right, you can find a video online or even find a deck list online that just shows all the cards in those decks. But this, a little bit different. And if I can build decks out of these, I mean, with knowing how many cards are in here now, I might be able to build a few decks from them and uh, and play, which is cool. I, I didn't really think about that, just building it directly from this rather than... Um, combining these with existing decks especially as a noob so fire diamond alora merry thief deep gate circle of the land druid earth tremor that's one of the first ones we got stone skin rasad yin bashir that's one of the ones that we've uh, gotten the other arts like this art style a lot slaughter the strong bar traveler Raphael, hey. Oh, that's cool. Devil Noble. Other demons, devils, imps, and tieflings you control get plus one, plus one, and have life. Beginning of each step, if a creature card was put into your graveyard from another this turn, from anywhere this turn, create a 1 1 red devil creature token. This creature dies, plus one damage to any target. That one's pretty cool. Shameless Charlatan. Lulu the Loyal. Holy Fan. Holly Fan. <laughs> Beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on each half creature you control, then untap. An ancient copper dragon. I think we uh we either have something similar or or got that earlier. Fire Diamond. And magic mini game. All right, we are on the final. Final, got five left. Having to clean up all these afterwards is always gonna be fun. But like I said, I'm. I'm this has been fun. I like this. Abdel Adrian, Fire Diamond. Your temple is under attack. I love the cards that like say something like that, and then it's like choose one. Creatures you control gain indestructible or strike a deal. You and two target opponents each draw, draw two cards. Dawn bringer, bringer, cleric. When they enter the battlefield, choose one cure wounds, dispel magic, or gentle repose. That will target card from the graveyard. Coronation of chaos. Candle Keep Sage, Perlesa Scale Singer, Bookwood Hermit, Battle the Cavalier, Gut, True Soul Zealot, Candle Keep Sage, Scion of Halister, Fameless Charlatan again, Ghost Lantern. Whenever a target creature he dies, put a plus one, plus one on equip creature, equip one. Reality Hemorrhage. Devoid, this card has no color. Huh. Reality Hemorrhage deals two damage to target creature or player. All right. We're in the end game now. We got four more. You know who I really want to get? One of the cards I really want to get is Asterion. That would be cool to play him. 
or any other Baldur's Gate characters, or just like straight up Minsk, Minsk, Minsk and Boo. Cloak of the Bat. Her creature has flying and haste. Pseudo Dragon Familiar. Nefarious Imp. Steadfast Unicorn. Druid of the Emerald Grove. Agent of Iron Throne. Safana Calimport Hut. Underseller Sweep. Merkel, Merkel, Lord of Bones. It's a legendary creature god. That I feel like this would actually be sick to have as like a commander. As long as your life total is less than or equal to the starting life total, Merkel, Lord of Bones, has indestructible. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do create a token that's a copy of this card, accept it as enchantment and loses all other card types. Guild Artisan. Criminal Pass. There's another etched one. Varian Wise Mentor. Baba Isaka Night Witch. Hayamut's Fanatic Dragon Warriors, that's pretty cool. Skeleton. And I I I'm actually getting excited for after this to go through these, separate them, and then see, okay, now that I have these separated, let's see, what can I build out? What is this? I like the landscape cards. They look they look pretty cool. The art styles. That one there. Swamp. Alora Mary Thief. Cloak of the Bat. Vis vicious Battle Rager. Arms of Hadar. Ingenious Artillerist. Fruitment Drive. Beckoning Will O' Wisp. Classic Will O' Wisp. Lulu Loyal Hollyfet. <laughs> Minthara again. It's cool that we got her at least. Skanos Dragonheart, Dragon Ranger. It's so cool how many dragon cards there are. Die here, Invoker Adept. You may activate abilities of other creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. Mirror of Life Trapping, Lokewood Swarm Keeper, Elf Ranger, and other soul. All right, we've got two left. The final two. Let's start with this one because this one was on top. And we will see. But this was fun. I know this one um, as a set boost has been out for a while. It's been out for a few years. But I'm just very late to them. And as they come out with more stuff, like I'll, I'll definitely be checking them out. And uh, if it's something that interests me, I'll be there day one. If it's not my wait for a sale we'll see i know they've got like a bloom bloom bloomwood or something like that coming out i ordered some starter decks for that one probably and maybe one pack but i don't know if i'll do the full set booster uh it depends i mean if these videos do well too then i'll definitely um i'll be more inclined to because then at that point they kind of pay for themselves but uh but yeah we'll see we'll see you know nemesis phoenix Lulu, there's another Lulu, Cliff Gate, Evolving Wilds, Deep Gate. There's a lot of lands, right? Yeah, there's a ton of land. Albert Shepherd, Ghost Lantern. That's the second one of those. Skullwinder, the Council of Four. Wait, that one's actually kind of cool. Whenever a player draws their second card during their turn, you draw a card. Whenever a player casts their second spell during their turn, you create a two-two white knight. Veteran Soldier, the background. Commander Liara Porter. Whenever you attack spell you spells you cast from exile. This turn costs X less to cast, where X is the number of players being attacked. Exile the top X cards of your library. Until the end of turn, you may cast spells from among those exiled cards. Monster Manual. Another Another Merkle. Gracchus the Butcher. Oil one. Perpetual timepiece. Alright, here we go. 
the final one the very last one and by the way if you guys do have suggestions for set boosters worth checking out feel free let me know if you want to see videos on any uh that that's also an option if people are like dude you got to do one for this then that also makes me more inclined to to do more of these so um this is really all a test of how they do and what i enjoy and so on nemesis phoenix lulu genesee enforcers trailblazers torch reckless barbarian moonshay pixie Feywild visitor Feywild caretaker Ellen, Ellen Harbreeze, Londo the Seer, Flaming Fist, Ball. Ooh, okay. L Lord of Murder. That's sick. As long as your life total is less than or equal to half your starting life total, Ball Lord of Murder has indestructible. Wait, that's very sim similar to Lord of, of Merkel. So, all right, this is a question for you, Magic. Uh, the guys that know a lot more than me, guys and gals, or, or whoever. Um, what is the best way of playing a card like this? Like, I can see that it's it's black, red, and green. But say if you put it into a red and green deck, I guess you would need a card that adds colorless or can add any color, any mana of your choice. I just don't know, like, would it be a deck that has all black, red, and green cards in it? Or would it be a deck that would be just green and and, uh, and red? Or would it be red and black? I really don't know. I guess that's the only way to play it, is you would have to have a... But then these two cards would be locked together. Like, the only way you could play this card is if you had that. I don't know. But kind of just talking seeing if that if that's the correct way you're supposed to do it then cool popular entertainer ambitious dragonborn ambitious dragonborn enters the battlefield with x plus one counters on it where x is the greatest power among creatures you control and the creatures cards in your graveyard and there is the magic mini game well we got some very cool cards here either way and now the fun part of going through them all and uh sorting through different each mana type seeing i don't know how many decks you can build i need to look how how many cards this actually is and like how many you could build from it but uh but yeah and then again i'm gonna look up these two kind of see what they are sacred rites and world gorger dragon I'm going to pretty much just keep them right here. Uh, if I could look them up right now, I would. But yeah, I'll put them up. If if anything here has value, I'll put it in the comments. But for now, that's pretty much all of them. Uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to be going up just yet because Assassin's Creed comes out on the 5th. I will be getting my stuff on the 8th unless it becomes any sooner. And then if it does come any sooner, I'll probably open it on the weekend and then post the video right after. But that was it. That was the Dungeons and Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate set booster. My first set booster ever open for magic. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely leave a like on the video. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to join the Discord, feel free. I have a tabletop channel in there now if you have any decks or anything else that you want to share. Feel free. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.